I'm Dr. Padmakali Banerjee from Amity University, Haryana in Gurugram, India. And we are a research and innovation driven university. And I primarily work on the area apart from policy and strategic planning of the university goals. I am keenly working in the area of innovation, both in teaching, learning and industry integration and skilling in general. See, if you look at it, it is uh, definitely India is the fastest developing economy with the large, largest youth population in India. So definitely on one side, it is very positive that we are going to have the youthful workforce and it is a talent pool for the world, not just India. But at the same time, the pace at which, you know, the technology is changing and the kind of new job roles coming up. So, you know, uh, equipping them with the right kind of skills and competencies at the pace at which the world is changing. Uh, that is something which is very important where the policymakers, the educational institutions and individuals are working towards. So I think that I would say as a positive challenge mm -hmm. where you see that there is so much that can be done. The higher education platform has changed. There is a whole lot of collaborations happening between the international institutions together and to make an impact and help the youth of India to acquire the competencies and the behavioral uh, competencies required for this uh, changing and chaotic world around. So, yeah, I think uh, one of the uh, major uh, aspects has been, you know, a very inclusive environment. So one of the areas in which I would say like our university is focusing on a lot on the scholarship where a lot of talented students who would have not been able to afford a course like that can come and do a program. And uh, for a student, gets, they get an opportunity to take uh, re-examination, retests. And But uh, there are occasions where a student who wants to go in for a vocational course, they do skill tracks and then they take up vocational courses as well. So, But as you say that it is very important for anybody to complete a degree. So uh, the university has a typical mentor-mentee system which handholds students and helps them to get on with their uh, assessments so that they are able to actually get and earn the degree and the minimum credits required to get the degree. Uh, uh, see, uh, one of the things that uh, uh, what, what is, interests me is, you know, the kind of, you know, best practices across uh, different institutions. And uh, it is possible to learn from each other's, you know, I would say success stories. So have a lot of collaboration between institutions and pick up the best points that can be learned. And I also believe a lot on this collaborative uh, learning. So together you, you have a, you know, a synergy that can be built and uh, the invisible wall that we see. Anyway, geography is becoming history, so people are more connected today. So together, I think we can make a difference in creating more innovative curriculum programs, bring in more uh, institutions together, be it in the industry, be it the higher level institutions, as well as government, to take up policy decisions. And um, possibly it will have a great role even in diplomacy. See, anyway, India has a great, uh, you know, pool of talent, which is specifically to do with IT and, you know, skills that, uh, that the world is needing. One of the ways I feel is very important is, you know, empowering the youth. Like, they create their own career pathways and they're able to make a choice. So, one of the things that is very critical in that, this stage uh, that I talk about every individual possessing optimistic intelligence and OQ which will give them a lot of resilience to face the challenges that they're going to face. They would get enough opportunity if they have a good amount of seven cents in them, which is your optimistic intelligence, to create a new world for your own self. And that way, I think uh, the youth of India is, anyway, there is a lot of demand. Most of the best institutions abroad come there for recruiting students. Uh, a lot of Indian students are uh, working a lot on innovation, entrepreneurship. So there is a lot of avenues that I see 
in future for Indian students.